Hello there, and welcome to another Armor 3 episode where we experience the final stretch of the Eastman campaign from Carrie's point of view. Yeah, got them with another earthquake. These earthquakes are getting really, really bad. All elements, we're moving out! Converge on the main road. Grid 218-180. Crossroads out. Captain. Keep copy. Lieutenant, what the fuck? Where are you? I'm... Keep copy. 210. 189. Yeah. Lieutenant James? What the hell? 210189? There's nothing up there. Lieutenant! Spawn! So here we go. Let's wait for the helicopter's engine to die down. And then we'll go mission briefing real quick. Let's see. Alright, what's the general situation? With Pardos and Kalokodi secured, the AAF are in full retreat, forced north to Ionanina. They're in a pinch, maybe looking to buy some time and Intel believes they are regrouping in preparation for a last-ditch counterattack. Command is likely to issue the order to push north within the next few hours. Last we heard, negotiations with CSET have been proceeding unimpeded, though it's unclear exactly how successful they are proving to be. For now, CSET forces are officially no longer actively participating in AAF operations. And my guess is that Officially might be a very important keyword here. Ah oh well. So, if you remember the previous mission, we had taken the, the town of Kalohodi and that has broken apart the enemy's defense line. They have been pushed further north, past the salt flats, and have now established a new defense line here. What is our task now? We have two options that we can follow. We can either go and regroup with NATO forces stationed north of Palos and continue the offensive. Or we can investigate the radio transmission that we just received. Lieutenant James is in trouble. His last known location is here. Well, let's consider this. You know what? I think I don't want to be charged with treason and crossroads, well, General Armstrong, he has made it abundantly clear that we are to stay away from Miller and his bullshit. Crossroads to Nomad, message. If you encounter Captain Miller or one of his teams, you are not authorized to provide assistance. So copy. Say again, sir? You will stay the hell away from those Brits and their black off bullshit, Corporal. Do you understand? Uh, affirmative, sir. Good. Crossroads out. Just what the hell are you doing here, Miller? And to be honest, Miller and his plans have gotten us into very deadly trouble a lot of times. Miller's plans had a tendency to always kind of backfire. So, I'm making the decision now that we have a war to win here and we can't spend any time worrying about Miller's bullshit. With that said, let's get into our vehicle. We have to get onto the main road here and drive north. We are joining the offensive. And look at that, there's a vehicle here. Let's get in. Awesome. And the main road is just in front of us over there. Let's go there. Spoiler alert. Um, this choice that I'm making now to continue the offensive is also the canonical choice. If I were to find Lieutenant James, well, 
things might happen that are diverging very much from the official storyline. Maybe we'll get to see that at some point in the future. Well, here we go, I can see Gary, smoke in the distance. A lot of smoke in the distance, we are nearing the front lines. Look at that, the artillery has been drawn up. Artillery is ready, infantry ready, armor ready, everything's ready for a push. Carrie, listen up. I want you to take the lead here. The AAF have pulled back to Yonina. Intel believes they're waiting for reinforcements. I want you and your men to coordinate the offensive. Concentrate on anything that poses a threat to Echo 2. Relay your requests to Delta 3 and Gulf 4-1. They'll take care of the rest. Can I trust you with this soldier? Yes, sir. We'll get it done. Copy that. Now, get moving. Not a problem. Destroy retreating forces. Let's have a quick look. The AAF are consolidating at Yonani... Well, that name is hard to say. Yonina. Use Delta 3, which is 3rd platoon, with armored vehicles, and Gulf... 4-1, which is um, aircraft, helicopters maybe, rotaries, difficult to tell what it is. It's part of Golf Company, they have planes and helicopters. Well, Golf 4-1 to soften them up before sending in Echo 2. Echo 2 is a platoon of tanks. Oh, that's nice. There is a position marked on the map. I think that might be a good position for us to take. It's a hill. And from there we should get eyes on the target here. So yeah, we are going after that. That's good. Let me see. I think we'll follow this dirt road. To this crossroad. Past this little chapel. Then we'll turn right. And we'll drive towards that hill. Yeah, sounds like a plan. I now have a few men with me that I can command. So, you know what? Let's get into this car. I need ammo. I do. Wait, let me check this. Ah, oh, damn it. Okay. So, we do have a 50 kill. But uh, apparently somebody has made extensive use of it and it only has 10 rounds left. It's not a lot. Might might help us get a little bit. Vehicle. Everybody get in. Let's turn on the vehicle. My man I am mounting up. One more. Wait. There we go. Alright. Let's not drive over crossroads. There he is. We are trying to find the dirt road. Moving past these units here. Oh, there's the dirt road just in front of us. I'll have to go around this tank. But oh, they have drawn up a lot of artillery here. Even rocket artillery. You can see it here. Very nice. Alright, off we go. The river up here in the north is pretty bad. But well, it's okay, we'll manage. Okay, here's the chapel. So now should come the crossroads. Yeah, there it is. Here we have to turn right. And we are going north. Okay, contact. Let's pull off the road. Get into some cover. Everybody disembark. Disembark. Copy that. Out of ammo. Danger. Standing by. I don't know what I kind of ammo. contact we had. Actually, let me turn off the Ready. engine. I forgot to I do that. Ready. There we go. Okay, what kind of contact did we have? Bearing 75. 
That's over there, I wish. Let's see. Okay, let's go. Can I spot Moving. anybody? There I'm seems coming. to be a little go. ruin Pull over there. Out. Are the enemies hiding in that ruin? Possibly. How do we assault that without the support of our vehicle? I don't see any movements. Nothing at all. Maybe there is nothing. I'm covering. Go. Maybe the little burst that we fired from the 50 kill took care of the problem. But here's what I'll do. Givens, get uh, get onto the road here. Give it, move up, all the way. You are going to provide covering fire for us. Ready. Give it, get down. Okay. Taylor and O'Brien, you will follow me. Okay, let's go. We are flanking. We will try to flank here. On the move. Moving. So I thought... Oh yeah, there's definitely still an enemy somewhere in front of us. Of us. Uh, so I thought that this area that we are in, that this was basically on our side of the front line. But there might still be enemies here. Enemies maybe that were overlooked or overran in the general push in the attack and that are now left behind. Isolated. Or, or we are entering a stretch of more or less no man's land where our troops control the main road and everything left and right of it is still contested territory that's also very possible Move! Okay, let's go! let me have a look do I see that ruin that we spotted I don't actually On the move. it has in. to be I think in this direction. Cover, go, go, I'll cover. Okay. Let's move okay, forward. Let's go. On Nothing on our left. Go. Let's move up to this low wall here. And I will order. We Go! might be getting into his line of fire actually here, and it's not actually Move! there in front of us, it's more to the left. So let's actually go ahead and flank out a little bit more. Moving! Come with me guys. Go! Yeah, this is a good approach. We should be very much near the road now. I'll wait for my two guys. And I will order Givens, if I can, to lay down some suppressive fire on suppressive this guy. Fire. Can't. I'm okay. Go. On the move. Do I see the damn okay, ruin? There it is. You know what? I'm in grenade range. Yeah, have one. On the move. Go. We got him. Moving. I'm covering. Givens is now engaging as well. Are there more enemies? He's still engaging something, and we peppered that guy pretty well. 
Not sure. Let's throw another grenade in. No movement. Anything to our left? Nothing that I can see. Okay. Okay, let's go. Guys, Covering fire. get up here. I don't want to advance on this thing alone. But it might have only been one enemy. Maybe the machine gun burst from our vehicle took out another. Not sure. This guy is alone. Yeah, he's alone. We got him. What kind of gear do you have on you? You have two frag grenades. I'll gladly take those to replace the ones that I used up. Nice. Okay. That there are still enemies in this area concerns me. That concerns me greatly. Let's observe the area ahead. By the way, look at this amazing sky. There is a gap in the clouds and the sun is shining through and yeah you can see we are in sunshine but it's raining heavily. That is awesome. Good, okay. The area in front of us. Burned out armored vehicles. There's a chapel back there. A small one. Nothing visible. I have to keep an eye out on the hills. The hills might be good positions for, I don't know, anti-tank weapons maybe. Another? No, is that the same chapel or another one? No, the same one. There's something up there. Looks like a sightseeing spot or something like that. Nothing else. A house. I can see a house there. Doesn't seem to contain any enemies. At least none that I panned at the first glance. More houses. Another small chapel. Wait. Eyes. Okay. That. Soldiers, one click. Northeast. Guys, hold fire. hold fire. Don't you shoot at them. What do I see there? I see three enemy soldiers. This one has an anti tank launcher. That one has binoculars and is observing the area ahead. And that one over there, I think, has a machine gun. Yes, that's a machine gunner. An enemy observation post. That's complicating things. And pretty much rules out us advancing with our car. We have to leave the car behind and sneak forward, basically. Let me have a look. How is the area in front of us looking? Not sure if I'm not sure how much cover and concealment we'll get in these parts. Yeah, there are the enemies. We can mark this position for now. Enemy OP. Enemy observation post. And they're pretty much where I want to go. Ah damn it. How can I advance towards them? Cover me! Cover, there go! seems to be plenty of vegetation and concealment in front of us, which we can use to close the distance. But ideally I would like to get around these guys. Not right at them. Maybe we can go... Maybe we can flank around on the left and go towards these two low hills and then move up and flank them. Could be a possibility. Give it! Return to formation! Give it's come back. And Give it! Copy my stand! What's your position? We are over here. 
come to us. Stay sharp. On the move. Let's move out. We'll cross the road. And I'll have a look at this side. How much concealment do we have here? Well, there's some. I think we might be able to advance here. There's, there is a lot of open ground as well though, so it's not going to be easy. But maybe the weather is going to help us. Let's wait a moment until Givens joins us. There he is. Mm, how much open ground do we have to cross? Oh, there's actually plenty of open ground until we get to those reeds in front of us. But we should be fine, unless there's something else. Everybody, stay low. Stay low. Let's move out. Ah, oh, crap. Enemy machine gunner somewhere. Somewhere out there. My men have just spotted him. There! Seems to be a lonely enemy. One enemy machine gunner. On patrol or relocating. Well, we are not gonna let that deter us. We are gonna move forward regardless. We have to get to into that position over there, into those... Uh, into that vegetation there. Well, that should conceal us from the enemy observation post, which was... Where was it? Up there. Good. Okay. We are gonna move out. I'm gonna make a small cut. And if something happens, we will zoom the video. Or once we are securely in that concealment up ahead. Oh, we are getting support options. And there is a message for us. Stay alert out there, Terry. Echo hit them hard, but don't be surprised if you run into some stragglers. Pay close attention to the hills. They might be doing some recon of their own. God damn it. Avoid contact as much as possible. Get to the OP and call out fire missions for Delta. Out. Another tremor. And we now have support options. We have artillery on call. I mean, we could use that to get rid of the enemy observation post, but maybe I don't want to play my hand too early. So let's try to advance. See if we can manage to get into their flank. My men are still with me. And we have made it to this concealment here. On still, machine that gunner, yeah, that enemy machine gunner is still running out there. We're still being a little bit careful here, trying not to get spotted by him. Target we might right. not have a choice but to engage him though. He is moving in front of us there. If we take him out from the cover of this vegetation, the enemy observation post won't know what hit him. So it could be an option to just get rid of him. I don't know where he is there. No eyes. Eyes on target! Ma, somebody has eyes on him. Where do you see him? Bearing 60, huh? So, right over there? Well, your eyes must be better than mine, because I don't see him at all. Although he is in... he's running in that direction. Yeah, okay. While he's running in that direction, let us continue our way. Where do we go next? Ah, uh, just towards the hills. Keeping a little bit of concealment between us and them. If I see him running back, yeah, then I'll consider my options. Well, Ready options have been duly considered. 
fire on my command, everyone. I see I movement up ahead. Enemy fire! Check it out! Enemies in front of us. That enemy is mighty confused about where he's being shot at. There's another one. AT soldier. Reloading. Uh, they went to ground. Well. Not sure if the enemy is at least wounded or not. But we are suppressing them. They can't even shoot back at us properly. One went down. Don't know about the other. Did we get them both? So, if the enemies have been paying any attention at all, then they know that something is up. There's even some very helpful smoke to mark where there is something up. So my chances of getting across this open ground are noticed. 105. Let's have a look. Yeah, we're engaging. Even though I don't see the guy. But one of my men has apparently seen him. 105. Out there somewhere. Okay. Here's the deal with that machine gunner out there. And the enemy observation post that could be calling in our position, maybe to enemy artillery. I feel that I might not have an option but to act with extreme violence here. Let me have a quick look. Can I see the observation post from this position? Can they spot us? There's the chapel. They should be up and to the... There they are. Well, yeah, in theory, they might be able to see us. So... Here's what we'll do. I'll move forward a little bit. And we'll call down some artillery onto them. Zero, eight, artillery strike. Oh, we have multiple batteries on call. Uh, let's call in a three-round strike. Requesting immediate fire support at the designated coordinates. Over. Target location received. Coordinates inbound. Out. With a bit of luck, that will absolute devast... Did you hear that? Oh, we can hear the artillery shooting. That's awesome. Round complete. Out. Okay, rounds complete. Three rounds out. Now we wait for them to arrive. And there they come. Very short flight time. The artillery is not far away. Come on. That's off the mark. That's a huge dispersion. Well, that one was a lot better. <laughs> Are they still alive up there? I don't know. Yo, I'm loading! Son of a bitch! Contact from up ahead. Give me cover, I'm Okay. Ready! Get into cover, let's advance towards this uh, chapel. We'll use that as a firing position. I'm moving up. Here I am. Let's see, I think and the enemy observation post might be shooting at us. Yeah. We have rounds coming our way. No, sir. Let's observe this. There. Have a click. They are now Front. on the move. A position has taken pretty almost a direct hit. But at least the machine gunner is still alive. And it's not the only one. The other machine gunner is there too. Let's try to get rid of him first. Over there? Yeah, he seems to be over there. 
That puts a little bit of suppressive fire down range. There he is. Need to reload. There. I think I got him. Yeah, he's down. Okay, that guy is gone. And now the other one. Where'd he go? He's at that chapel up there. No, he's over there. That's actually the AT soldier. Okay, we have forced him to go down um, to lower ground. Guys, fire in advance, fire in advance. Givens is suppressing them. That's excellent. The other two with me. If Givens keeps expending ammunition like that, he won't be able to suppress for too long. Yeah, Givens is running low. Okay, move up. Come on guys, keep moving. We're advancing to contact. I can't see the enemy. I've seen the machine gunner and I've seen the AT gunner, so there are at least two enemies alive. Covering fire! Yeah, okay, I'm advancing. The enemies have thrown up smoke ahead of us. We have a oh, okay. Almost ran into the line of fire of Gibbon's weapon. Up there. Am I receiving fire from that direction? I think I am. Yeah, from the direction of that building. Behind it somewhere. That's probably the enemy AT gunner. There, I saw movement, didn't I? Can I make it to the building? Very good question. Standing by. Waiting. Negative. There. Enemy machine gun fire. Can't tell where that came from. Machine gunner, 400 meters. Northeast. No, sir. Northeast, yeah, but where I'm to the northeast? I don't see anybody running. There, there he is. That's the AT gunner. He should be there now. That's one less. Ready. Now it's just the enemy machine gunner who's still somewhere on that hillside. Let's see if I can spot his tracers. There. There! Have to reload. Uh, where did he go? There. He's firing and advancing. I think he might have just gone down. And I'm running low on ammunition. I think I've hit him a few times. Okay. He should be down. Jeez. Well, that was tough. Oh, Brian, what do you have in your inventory? Can I get a magazine off you? Well, okay. How much, how much ammunition Copy. do we have? 
not a lot you have one spare you're almost out as well Taylor what about you we'll go. Ready. same situation we are running low on ammunition but we have to push on Stay it alert. sounds to me like we have dealt with the opposition for now and we might be free to advance towards the hill where we need to go so let's do that come on guys Copy my stance. Let's get out of this open ground. It's not a good thing that we are running low on ammunition. But yeah, we have to use what we have for now. Let's hope we don't run into many more enemies. We are literally down to our last magazines here. Okay, so far so good. Let's move from cover to cover. And I think that this is actually the hill that I need to go on. That is where the enemy observation point was. So yeah, that should be the hill where we need to go. Good. Good, okay. I'll keep moving up the hill. And we'll resume the video if we get into any more trouble, or once we get up there. Will you have a look at that? Uh, this is the enemy's observation post. And the artillery strike killed at least one of them. The guy that had the binoculars is down, and he is actually a marksman. So I'm very glad that the artillery strike killed him. Very, very glad. I still don't understand how the other two survived an impact, which was basically here where I'm standing right now. But, yeah, still worked out. We are almost on top of the hill here. Look at this, the salt flats. Very nice. Okay, almost there. I might have my man seek some cover. I'll go up there on my own for now to scout ahead. See what awaits us. Okay, there are some conveniently placed rocks here. Let's get behind them. Whip out our binoculars and check the left side towards the northwestern coast first. I don't see anybody. I see some houses. But apart from that, it's quiet. The hills are empty. They would be good positions for anti-tank weapons, to be honest. I'm glad to see that they're empty. There's an abandoned hotel resort there. Also nothing visible that could concern us, or that should concern us, so that's good. Let's... Where do I move? Let's go up here. I'll go down on my belly and we'll take another look at the ground in front of us. Let's get up to this rock here. Yarnina should be right in front of us, basically. Although I doubt that this is it. Let's look further to the right. Nothing. Oh, hello. Oh, hello! Okay, I think I found it. Okay, I definitely have found it. What do we have here? One, two, three, four, a line of four tanks, Leopard 2A6, very dangerous. Light scout vehicles Imrat, armed with 50 cals. Enemy infantry, Imrat, 700 meters plenty of zero them. Six zero. Enemy IFV in the back there, AT with more infantry behind it, northeast. and trucks, a helicopter, 
priority target ATT right there. Soldier, one click, northeast. Another IFV. Okay. Another IFV. So that's that's what? That's one, two, three infantry fighting vehicles. Yeah. One helicopter, four tanks, and two of these. What can I call in? I can call in Gold 4 1. That was an aircraft or helicopter. I can also call in plenty of artillery. Infantry, one click northeast. So here's my plan. The tanks, they are dangerous, no questions asked. But if I want to call in the aircraft, I should get rid of the IFVs first. And the helicopter, possibly. These IFVs, they can be used as a makeshift anti-aircraft weapon. So, yeah, I'm getting rid of those. I should get rid of those. How do we proceed? Here's what I'll do. I'll call in rockets on this guy. Because I saw that I have Delta 3-4 here with AG missiles. Give me two rockets on him. Or should I fire the tube artillery first? What will arrive first? The tube artillery was pretty quick. So let's start with the rockets. And we'll work our way immediately to the helicopter and then to the third IFV. And well, we'll see from there. Give me two. Immediate fire support at the designated coordinates. First Over. helicopter there. Target location received. Ordinance is inbound. Out. Artillery, Sholef, high explosive shells, four shells. Round complete. Out. Requesting immediate fire support at the designated and coordinates. IFV number Target location three. received. Ordinance is inbound. Out. Give me Requesting four shells. Immediate fire support at the designated coordinates. Over. Target location received. Ordinance also, inbound. why out. not? Splash. Out. Okay, we have first splashes. Support at the designated coordinates. Over. Round complete. Out. Oh, direct hit with the missiles. Nice, that thing is gone. That one is on the move. The helicopter is trying to take off. Oh, please. Please splash now. Where's the artillery? Come on. It's still moving. Damn it, the helicopter took off. That's a problem. Never mind! <laughs> Enemy spotted. AT soldier, 800 meters, bearing 060. Oh god, that was amazing. Oh my god, that, oh, those were ammunition trucks. Everything is detonating. Jesus Christ. Oh, okay. Oh my god. There's the artillery is tearing them a new one. The enemy infantry took a direct hit. Pretty much. They have been scythed down. Most of them. The IFVs are still alive though. One, two... Where's the one from back there? It's There it is. Ah, uh, this was amazing. But how did that one survive the missiles hitting next to it? Tanks are nervously moving about. I should, I should not hesitate here. I should use more missiles on the remaining IFVs, but I don't want to flatten the whole area. Let's wait for them to stop for a moment. Okay, you're still moving. Can you, like, take a pause somewhere? That artillery strike was devastating. Now they're moving about. They are 
extremely nervous. I mean, I could just call in more tube artillery. One shell might land close to them. But it's difficult when they're moving about so much. Okay, I think they're trying to take cover. Where are they going? They're going back there. That one. Oh, I was about to say that that one at least is holding still, but that's actually not the case. And something is shooting at something. It's not you. Is that from behind me? Might be. Maybe more stragglers somewhere in the rear. Okay, I think... I can't wait for too long. I have to call in more artillery and then just call in the aircraft or helicopter or whatever it is. Yeah. Before they disperse or something like that. Let's call in a full and nice strike. Requesting Six rounds. Fire support at the, designated coordinates. Over. Target location the IVs are dispersing inbound. way Out. too much. There, that, that one is standing still at least. Requesting immediate Three fire missiles. Support at the designated that position. Over. Target location received. Coordinates inbound. Out. Make it quick. And I am calling in the aircraft now. Round complete. Out. Gulf 4 1. No mass. You're clear to engage. Over. Copy. Engage. IFE is coming Gulf towards me. I don't like that. Out. Waiting for the splash message. That thing is coming closer. But the aircraft better hurry up. Splash. Out. Splash. Out. Uh, I hope it's the missiles actually take out at least, yeah, that should at least one IFV be Fox gone. Two. Fox 2, he's smoking, missile missed, missile hit, one IFV gone, it's an aircraft, ground attacker, go get him, well grabbed. A few things are on fire, but my guess is that that IFV has taken him out. Let's hope he's standing still for a moment, because I'm about to call in more missiles. I'm also calling in more tube artillery on the tanks. Wait, that one is on the move. Okay. Let's move the coordinates over. Requesting immediate fire support at the designated coordinates. Over. Yeah, that, what I feared would happen has happened. One IFV was actually enough to shoot down the aircraft. Well, I hope that's it for it. That's actually task completed. Sounds like our tanks are now moving. Come on, give me the artillery strike on these guys. Artillery is arriving. There we go. That should mess up their cohesion. Good, good, good. They will be terribly suppressed and won't be able to offer much resistance with artillery landing on them. Yeah, they're in trouble. Stand down. I say again, stand down. The 
the AAS have issued their formal surrender, straight from Akinkeros himself. Hold your fire and prepare to receive POWs. Good. Bravo 1-1, one, one, come in. Over. Crossroads 1-1, one, one, go ahead. Over. Converge on Yonina and assist with the cleanup. Over. Wilco, out. That goes for you too, Carry. Understood, sir. Out. We did it. We did it. And that... That is the finale of the East Wind campaign in Arma 3. The AAF has surrendered. However, is this the last time that we are going to see Carrie? No, it isn't. There are a lot of questions still unanswered. What's up with the earthquakes? What's up with Miller and his men? What would have happened if we had taken the alternative path? We might explore that in a future episode, and let's call it an alternate history type episode. What would have happened if we would have went to find James? For now, as the credits are rolling here, I want to thank you very much for watching today's episode. I hope that you have enjoyed it and that you are looking forward to next time when we are uncovering a few mysteries. Until then, have some really great days. Let me know in the comments what you think about the campaign and about today's episode. And I look forward to seeing you again next time. Goodbye.